Hey, good morning. So I spent the night in my new tent, which you see behind me. It is the XMID UL1P tent. So I got this through Mass Drop. Uh, I guess it's now called Drop. And uh, yeah, uh, this is the first time I slept in, it, uh, in the field. I have pitched it before um, on the lawn, basically. Um, and a couple of things. So I got a decent pitch, but the ground is not as level as your lawn, obviously. Uh, so we could go around and see what it looks like, but uh, there's a drop off on the far end. So I've used the uh, front here that's open as my main entry points. <clears throat> the I got a decent pitch on the ridge line. You can see it's it's fairly taut, <clears throat> but I did have to adjust several times. I'm using uh, trekking poles, obviously, uh, preset to 120 centimeters. And uh, yeah, you can see that there's a fair amount of clearance here. Go around the tree here. And here's the far side. So yeah, there's a slight drop off and there's a lot more space. <clears throat> that you can see and yeah I think the key to getting a good pitch here was um, not to pitch with the line locks uh, all out instead I pitched it already pre tightened um, to keep it closer to the ground if I had pitched it f uh, with the line locks out to get a tight pitch you would end up putting the stakes further away from the tent, uh, which would have created even more of a gap. I guess you could adjust that by uh, reducing the height of the trekking pole that's in there. And here's the other corner. And this is kind of what it looks like. Absolutely no problems with any kind of condensation. Uh, obviously, I have a fair amount of gap there, so I think uh, it was a fairly quiet night. And yeah, so far so good. I think the venting worked great. The inner tent, um, I did have to make a few mods here in the inner tent. The main thing being, I think you can see here that the shock cords provided uh, ended up being too short. So when I had the original shock cords uh, and just attached to the mitten clip there, what ended up happening was on the outside, I noticed that this pitch ended up being scrunched together, thereby always being loose. And that was from the tension of the inner tent pulling on it, the inside. So I realized I had to relieve that tension. And the only way to really do that is to either put in a longer piece of the attachment clip this piece, which would have been um, you know, doable, but I didn't have anything of that uh, gauge. So what I ended up doing was uh, increasing the size of the shock cord. So here's the original, and here's what I put in. I think uh, it's a good purchase. Um, I'm only 5'9", but I did feel that if you are six feet or taller, this inner tent will feel cramped, especially if you are using a high uh, a height, I guess. I'm using a Nemo Tensor Insulated, which gives you about two and a half to three inches of height. So at 5'9", with this dimensions, 
Um, yeah, my sleeping bag was uh, not touching if I positioned myself exactly correct. But you can kind of see from the wall height, three inches up, plus uh, your sleeping bag hood. Um, same on the other side, you could end up touching. And there's a fair amount of space between the inner and the fly. So yeah, if you're going to be making a Gen 2 of this, I think it's okay to lengthen um, the inner tent a bit to accommodate those taller people. So that was a uh, first use impression of the XMID UL1P tent.